Israel's Gaia awarded to supply a mere 4 x 4 MRAP for the PNP Special Action Force. Max Defense received a confirmation from sources from the Philippine National Police that the PNP Special Action Force has awarded the supply and delivery of one, one lot of multi-purpose armored personnel carrier and accessories acquisition project to Stone of David Corp. Gaia Automotive Industries Limited. This was after the said JV company passed the post qualification inspection PQI of the project. The multi purpose armored personnel carrier and accessories acquisition project of the PNPSAF was intended to provide the said unit with a fleet of new wheeled 4x4 armored personnel carriers to beef up its mechanized capabilities. The project has an approved budget for contract ABC worth PHP 618,213,470.00 and was to be acquired through public bidding. 16 wheeled 4x4 armored personnel carriers that are mine resistant ambush protected MRAP and can be armed or fitted with weapon stations and accessories with the following Asterisk 2 APCs will be equipped with a mobile assault ramp. Asterisk 7 APCs will be fitted with a remote controlled weapon station RCWS armed with a 40mm grenade launcher and a .50 caliber heavy machine gun. Asterisk 7 APCs will be fitted with a RCWS armed with a .50 caliber heavy machine gun. Accessories are as follows, asterisk spare barrels for the .50 caliber heavy machine guns, asterisk 103,000 rounds of .50 caliber linked ammunition, asterisk 7,000 rounds of 40mm linked grenade ammunition, asterisk 6 towing bars. 3. 3. Proponents submitted their bids to the PMPSAFBAC last the 27th of November 2018. Colon Wool Trading, Chase Airy Metal and Rubber Co. Limited, Thailand Joint Venture, which submitted their proposal based on the Chase Airy Defense First Win 4x4 Armored Vehicle. Stone of David Corp, Gaia Automotive Industries Limited, Israel which submitted a proposal based on the Gaia Mir 4x4 Armored Vehicle LSV, Tar Ideal Joint Venture, which was disqualified early on, thus their proposal was not verified. In our previous Facebook post last the 27th of November 2018, Max Defense mentioned that Saad Corp Gaia Automotive JV was declared to be the lowest bidder, while Colin Wool Trading, Chase Airy Metal and Rubber Co. Limited JP was declared a second lowest bidder. The Gaia Amir 4x4, which is the armored vehicle to be supplied by Sidecorp Gaia Automotive JV, is the flagship armored vehicle product of Israel's Gaia Automotive Industries Limited. The vehicle is said to be extremely agile and maneuverable for its size and was built as an MRAP-capable armored vehicle for the Israel Defense Forces IDF, and for the export market. It has a Stanag 4569 Level 2 Armored Protection, and Mine Protection Level 1A and 2B. Further improvements can be made including increase armored protection to Stanag 4569 Level 4 and protection from explosives equivalent to up to 10 kgs of TNT. Although this would affect the vehicle's weight, movement performance, and payload. The Amir is based on a body-on-ladder frame chassis, and is powered by a 4.5L Cummins diesel engine mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission, allowing it to run at a top speed of 122 km per hour, and a maximum payload of up to 3 tons. It can be armed with a variety of weapons including RCWS, manually operated one-man turrets, anti-tank or anti-aircraft missile launchers, 81mm or 120mm mortar systems. No mention was made on the source of the RCWS for 14 of the 16 APCs, but Max Defense believes that it could be sourced from Israel or Europe. Out of the 14 RCWS, 7 will have a combined weapon mounting for a 40mm grenade launcher and a .50 caliber machine gun.
It is expected that all our CWS will be capable of night operations, which is among the lessons learned by the AFP and PNP during the Marawi campaign. Originally, the plan was to install the RCWS on the PNPSAF's existing fleet of VE-150 Commando 4x4 armored vehicles, but it was later on revised to be installed on the new armored vehicles instead. Meanwhile, the mobile assault ramp would allow the PNPSAF to conduct assault on low-level structures, including counter-terrorism actions on airliners and buildings. Presently, Max Defense believes that only the AFP Special Operations Command AFP SOCOM, specifically the Light Reaction Regiment LRR, has a similar capability. Several months ago, Israel's Guy Automotive Industries Limited signed an agreement with Filipino company Stone of David Corp to establish an armored vehicle factory in the Philippines to cater for local and regional export requirements. Apparently, most of the APCs ordered by the PNPSAF are said to be built in the almost completed factory of Gaia Automotive Industries Philippines. Aside from the PNPSAF, Gaia Philippines is also looking at the potential of selling their armored vehicles to the armed forces of the Philippines as well as to different PNP units in the country that may require the need for light armored vehicles. Based on Max Defense's gathered information, Gaia is also looking at potentially supplying the smaller Thunder 4x4 light armored tactical vehicle to the Philippine Army and the Philippine Marine Corps, both of which are looking at acquiring armored tactical vehicles as part of the Horizon 2 phase of the revised AFP modernization program. The Philippine Army has the Light Tactical Vehicle Acquisition Project with a proposed acquisition of up to 200 vehicles under a proposed budget of PHP 4 billion.00, or an average budget of PHP 20 million per vehicle, and armed with a canopy-mounted 12.7mm heavy machine gun. Gaia is said to be proposing to offer either the Amir 4x4 or the smaller Thunder 4x4. Gaia is expected to be competing with Kia Motors of South Korea with their KLTV, which is currently being tested by the PA after Kia provided a few units as donation for evaluation purposes. Meanwhile, the Philippine Marine Corps has the Tactical Combat Vehicle Acquisition Project which involves the acquisition of up to 60 vehicles with a proposed budget of PHP 1,800,000.00 or an average of PHP 30 million per vehicle. Apparently the PMC wanted the vehicle to be equipped with an RCWS, and both the Amir and Thunder 4x4 armored vehicles are also being considered. Aside from these, the Philippines factory could also be used to manufacture any export requirements secured by Gaia Automotive Industries in the region in support of their operations in Israel. Source, Max Defense Israel's Gaia awarded to supply Amir 4X4 MRAP para sa PNP Special Action Force ang Max Defense ay nakatanggap ng kumpirmasyon mula sa mga pinagkukunan mula sa Philippine National Police. 
na iginawad ng Special Action Force ng PNP ang proyekto ng pagkuha ng supply at paghahatid ng isang isa lot ng multi-layuni ng armored personnel carrier at kagamitan sa Stone of David Corp. Gaya Automotive Industries Limited, ito ay matapos ang nasabing kumpanya ng JV na nakapasa sa Post Qualification Inspection PQI, para sa proyekto. Ang proyektong pagkuha ng multi-layered armored personnel carrier and accessories ng PNP SAF ay inilaan upang bigyan ng nasabing unit ng isang fleet ng bagong may gulong na 4x4 armored personnel. Carriers upang mapahusay ang mga kakayahang makina nito. Ang proyekto ay may approved budget for contract, ABC, na nagkakahalaga ng 618,213,470.00 at dapat makuha sa pamamagitan ng public bidding, kasama sa lot ang mga sumusunod na item. Labing anim na wheeled 4x4 armored personnel carriers na mine resistant ambush protected MRAP at maaaring armado o marapat sa mga istasyon ng armas at accessories kasama ang mga sumusunod. Asterisk 2 apices ay nilagyan ng isang mobile na pag-atake ram. Asterisk 7 apices ay nilagyan ng Remote Controlled Weapon Station, RCWS, na armado ng 40mm granada launcher at isang .50 kalibre mabigat na machine gun. Asterisk 7 apices ay karapat dapat sa isang RCWS armadong may isang .50 kalibre mabigat na machine gun. Ang mga accessories ay ang mga sumusunod. Asterisk mga extra barrels para sa .50 kalibre malakas na machine guns. Asterisk 103,000 rounds ng .50 kalibre na nakalink na bala. Asterisk 7,000 na round ng 40 mm na nakalink na granada na sandata. Asterisk 6 na totong bar. Tatlo, tatlo, tagapagtaguyod ang nagsumite ng kanilang mga bid sa PNP sa Akbak noong 27 Nobyembre 2018, Colonwell Trading Chisery Metal and Rubber Co. Limited, Thailand Joint Venture. Na nagsumite ng kanilang panukala batay sa Chiu Eri Defense First Win 4x4 Armored Vehicle, Stone of David Corp. Gaya Automotive Industries Limited, Israel na nagsumite ng isang panukala batay sa Gaya Amir 4x4 Armored Vehicle, LSB Tar Ideal Sumali Venture, na kung saan ay na-disqualified maaga, kaya ang kanilang panukala ay hindi na-verify. Sa aming naunang Facebook post noong ikadalawampot pito ng Nobyembre taong dalawang libot labing walo, binanggit ni Max Defense na ang South Corp Gaya Automotive JV ay ipinahayag na pinakamababang leader. Habang ang Colonwell Trading Chisery Metal at Goma Co. Limited, JV ay ipinahayag na second lowest leader, ang Gaya Amir 4x4 na kung saan ay ang armored vehicle na ibibigay ng South Corp. Gaya Automotive JV, ang flagship armored vehicle product ng Israel's Gaya Automotive Industries Limited. Ang sasakyan ay sinasabing napakalinaw at napakahusay para sa laki nito. At itinayo bilang MRAP Capable Armored Vehicle para sa Israel Defense Forces IDF at para sa merkado ng pag-export, mayroon itong STANAG 4,500 at 6 na putsam na Level 2 Armored Protection. At Mine Protection Level 1A at 2B, ang karagdagang mga pagpapabuti ay maaring gawin. Kabilang ang pagtaas ng proteksyon sa kala, sag sa STANAG 4,500 at 6,000 na level 4 at proteksyon mula sa mga eksplosibo na katumbas ng hanggang sa 10 kings ng TNT, bagaman ito ay makakaapekto sa timbang ng sasakyan. Pagganap ng kilusan at kargamento, ang Amir ay nakabatay sa isang chassis frame ng katawan sa hagdan. At pinapatakbo ng isang diesel engine na 4.5 na litro comments na isinama sa isang walong speed na automatic na transmission.
na nagpapahintulot nito na tumakbo sa isang pinakamataas na bilis ng 122 km per hour at isang maximum na kargamento ng hanggang sa tatlong tonelada. Maaari itong armado ng iba't ibang mga armas kasama ang RCWS. Manu-manong operasyon na isa man turret, anti-tank o anti-aircraft missile launcher, 81 mm o 120 mm mortar system, walang binanggit sa pinagmulan ng RCWS para sa labing apat sa 16 APCs. Ngunit naniniwala ang max defense na maaaring makuha ito mula sa Israel o Europa, mula sa 14 rows. Pitong ay magkakaroon ng pinagsama na armas mountain para sa isang launcher ng 40 mm granada at isang 50 caliber machine gun. Inaasahan na ang lahat ng RCWS ay may kakayahan sa mga operasyon ng gabi. Nakabilang sa mga aral na natutunan ng AFP at PNP sa panahon ng kampanya ng Marawi, Una. Ang plano ay i-install ang RCWS sa kasalukuyang armadong PNP SAF ng mga armadong sasakyan ng V-150 Commando 4x4, ngunit binago ito sa halip na ma-install sa mga bagong armored vehicle sa halip. Samantala, ang pag-atake ng mobile na pag-atake ay magpapahintulot sa PNP SAF na magsagawa ng pag-atake sa mga istrukturang mababa ang antas. Kabilang ang mga paggilos ng kontraterorismo sa mga airliner at mga gusali, sa kasalukuyan, naniniwala ang max defense na tanging ang Special Operations Command ng AFP, AFP SOCOM. Partikular na ang Light Reaction Regiment, LRR, ay may kaparehong kakayahan. Ilang buwan na ang nakalilipas, nilagdaan ng Gaia Automotive Industries Limited ng Israel ang isang kasunduan sa kumpanya ng Pilipinas na Stone of David Corp. Upang makapagtatag ng isang pabrika ng armored vehicle sa Pilipinas para sa mga lokal at regional na pangangailangan sa pag-export. Lumilitaw na ang karamihan sa mga APC na iniutos ng PNP SAF ay sinasabing itinatayo sa halos na kumpletong pabrika ng Gaia Automotive Industries Philippines bukod sa PNP SAF. Tinitingnan din ng Gaia Philippines ang potensyal na ibenta ang kanilang mga armored vehicles sa Armed Forces of the Philippines. Pati na rin sa iba't ibang mga unit ng PNP sa bansa na maaaring mga ilangan ng pangangailangan para sa mga light armored vehicles, batay sa natipon na impormasyon ng Max Defense. Tinitingnan din ng gaya ang potensyal na supply kong ang mas maliit na Thunder 4x4 light armored tactical vehicle sa Philippine Army at Philippine Marine Corps. na parehong naghahanap sa pagkuha ng armored tactical vehicles bilang bahagi ng Horizon dalawang phase ng revised program modernization ng AFP. Ang Philippine Army ay mayroong proyekto ng acquisition ng light tactical vehicle na may iminumungkahing pagkuha ng hanggang sa dalawandaan na sasakyan sa ilalim ng iminungkahing budget ng 4 billion point zero zero o isang average na budget na 20 million bawat sasakyan at armado ng 12.7 na milimetro heavy machine na may mounting canopy baril ang gaya ay sinasabing nagpanukala upang mag-alok ng Amir 4x4 o mas maliit na Thunder 4x4 Inaasahan na ang gaya ay nakikipagkumpetensya sa Kia Motors ng South Korea, kasama ang kanilang KLTV. Nakasalukuyang sinubok ng papagkatapos makapagbigay ng ilang mga unit ng Kia bilang donasyon para sa mga layuni ng pagsusuri, samantala. Ang Philippine Marine Corps ay may Tactical Combat Vehicle Acquisition Project na kinabibilangan ng pagkuha ng hanggang anim na puna sa sakyan na may ipinanukalang budget na 1 billion 800 million point zero zero o isang average na 30 million bawat sasakyan. Tila nais ng PMC na magamit ng sasakyan ng isang RCWS at parehong isinasaalang-alang ang Amir at Thunder 4x4 na mga armored vehicle, bukod sa mga ito.
Ang pabrika ng Pilipinas ay maaari ring magamit upang gumawa ng anumang mga iniaata sa pag-export na sinigurado ng gaya automotive industries sa rehiyon bilang suporta sa kanilang mga operasyon sa Israel. Pinagmulan, Max Defense. Thank you for watching and hearing the latest military news. Keep up to date with the latest military news on the Update Defense channel. Hope you enjoy it.